Uh, my name is Dave Smith. Uh, the name of the company is Techscape IT. When you're starting a company, you have to make certain decisions. Do I get VC capital? Do I get somebody, you know, an angel investor? Or do I bootstrap it and build it on my own? I did it on my own because I had a technical expertise. My mom's just a great lady, but she would always tell me, like, make sure you can afford it, make sure you can do this, make sure you can do that. So she was always very concerned about me. She didn't realize until three and a half, four years into the business that, all right, you're actually good. She would send me oven mitts, you know, to make sure I had stuff for my apartment and so forth. My business card said director of services. I went to a customer and the customer said to me, I want to talk to your manager. I said, tell me what your complaints are and I'll talk to the manager and I'll come back to you. He's like, look, the prices are too high. And I'm like, all right, what do you need to get the price at? And he's like, if I got it here, I'd be happy. So I said, give me a couple days, I'll talk to him, I'll come back to you or I'll bring him in. So I came back to him and I said, look, he said, he'll do it. He's like, I'm so happy that you talked to my, your manager for me. I had to present myself as not the CEO because I needed the ability to negotiate with people. If I was the last stop, it would have been a very difficult conversation. But if I presented myself as somebody in the middle, they were much more open and they gave me what, what I needed to know in order to close a deal. I had two people that worked for me out of a studio apartment. We did conference calls in our office, and one of us would be in the closet, the other one would be in a bathroom, and we'd be pretending as if we were in different locations in the United States. How's Boston today, Paul? <laughs> I paid $2,000 a month in rent and sold $1.3 million in revenue. I knew we were gonna deliver what we were gonna deliver, but if they knew how big I was sitting in a glass table with three of us around it, we had folding chairs because I didn't want to buy the $250 chairs. I had a $75 Target chair in my apartment. I had one that was padded and one that wasn't. So whoever got there first got the padded one and the other one got the other one. My initial team were people that I could trust or that I worked with in previous engagements or people that I'd went to high school with or people that I was best friends with. What I learned over the period of time is that there's a certain point when loyalty has to change to accountability. And so that was a very huge shift in my business where I had to switch from this loyalty to accountability for the people that are friends of mine since I was 15 years old. But I needed them to be accountable for the product that they were delivering. And that shift was hard. I'm harder on the people that I knew before the business than the people I hire after the business. I'm, because I have way higher expectations for these people. That's the fight. And the people that are here are successful because they fought through that.